Welcome everyone. Here we go, as I promised. Um, I'm here officially ready. You have no idea how much pain I've gone through to make this profile. Because there is a lot you need to set up to, you know, make sure that I kind of want to stay anonymous throughout the series, or at least attempt to. And wow, did I just have to go through a nightmare of things to do. But officially welcome uh the first episode of me trying the game again and trying to teach you guys as much as i know let's begin so first thing uh i think everyone does is for sure going in and grabbing the rogue sword now there's a couple things you need to focus on when you start a new profile specifically minions right because you definitely want to make sure that you know you have minions running all the time it's just free money right who doesn't like free money so to get the minions we firstly need uh, a couple things that is oh there's a lot of zombies here give me a second unlocking the bazaar unlocking jacob contest because uh you, you want to start getting medals early on i'm trying to get a combat one here and it's kind of being annoying Oh my goodness, I'm dying. I don't want to die just yet. They're going to run at me. Give me a second. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me chill down for a second. Uh, we want to unlock the bazaar. We want to unlock Jacob contests. And I want to unlock the Warven mines. All these things should help me out. Got a little bit of money. And most importantly, I need to unlock a bunch of collections to be able to craft the minions that I want to get. So, let's first of all work on uh, following the Iron Man guide for a second that I made uh, like seven months ago by the way still relevant of course but um let's get that grandma wolf bet. and uh, oh yep yep that's a little bit annoying that I started during night time all these uh zombie villagers are a little bit annoying all right there we go combat one now we can go to the spiders then grab ourselves a pet that i can start leveling while i do all this stuff you know might as well don't waste xp let's go ahead and go ahead and grab that uh gurama wolf pet also uh a, a worth wild thing to mention um i am gonna be disabled chat and uh, i need to reset uh relic waypoints i was even thinking about doing a special thing that if you find out maybe like if this anonymous thing actually works out i was thinking maybe we could even have a special little event uh, um i was even thinking of putting a bounty for the for the people who figure out my name and paying them i don't know like a couple hundred million coins that'd be pretty fun <laughs> tell me what you think about that so we got ourselves the grandma wolf and let's get ourselves some relics as well because so we got to talk to the archaeologist you know we made a good guy but it's still like somewhat relevant even seven or eight months after it released it's getting quite a bit of views too so i'm really happy about this also give me opinions uh should i record with a webcam should i uh, um keep the webcam off for these series tell me what you like tell me what you think give me feedback i uh, definitely like i already spent like 70 euros to buy them p plus plus spend five euros to get sbe and buy a minecraft there's i'm committed there's no way i spent over a hundred bucks on a new pro to make this profile and uh, not do at least like 10 episodes of this okay trust me i'm gonna milk this content not a lot of it left to do on my rm so this is the least i can do another update though exciting I haven't seen much from it though. Just a couple leaks about fishing, a couple armor sets, some of the uh, mage gear that I don't care about. Hopefully, there's a lot more that we haven't seen. Hopefully, there is a new slayer too. I love new slayers. 
That's gonna be good enough for now. Relics, relics is fine. Let me deposit these coins before I lose them. Because trust me, uh, you can't trust me. Give me the bank. Thank you. I got 10 coins for depositing stuff into my bank. Sure. Can I talk to some of these villagers as well? Get a quest done. Now, I think I want to start with unlocking farming 10. Getting access to Jacob contests is going to be huge. We can definitely get silver and wheat like straight off. Uh, after just just hopping, swapping hubs. We can probably get uh, bronze and cactus. And I think mushrooms. So those are the three the three um i would say crops that i can get metals in without having a farm on my own also i don't want to use a rookie hoe i actually want to make a hoe of my own uh, and the reason why is because though the rookie hoe it gives you so much more seeds which fills up your inventory and i don't really want seeds i'll be honest so let me make myself a probably a golden hoe gold looks clean your light like gold boom so mm -hmm. my golden hole i also want to pull out some money and before i forget i want to unlock carpentry we want to we want to get that quick crafting as soon as possible just setting up all these things on the new profile make sure we don't forget about anything do it properly a big uh, thing that what early game players don't understand is that you gotta make sure like you get yourself a goal but you're also doing a bunch of other things while you're getting that goal for example if i would say that you know right now i'm gonna focus on minions and you're purely just unlocking collections getting new minions you know that's fine you're gonna get there but what if also while you're making those minions you look for farming contests and do every farming contest that you can because it's convenient right doing every farming contest because that is the kind of grind that you can't just go like oh i'm gonna go ahead and do it now right just like straight up just you know what i feel like grinding um the contests it's something that you have to wait for so might as well while you're making those minions make you participate in every farming contest that you can and that's my plan basically grinding out contests at every stage of the game until i have all those resources also doing other things and then by the time i finish uh doing all you know let's say minions i'll also be done with all the contests too huh. Killing two grinds with one stone. Being efficient. It's all about. Get that done coal. Get the um the blacksmith unlocked. All these early little quests that you have to do. Also, not having a god pot is definitely um definitely harder <laughs> than, uh, than just getting in uh I'm so used to the god pot. It's gonna be fun though. I know that I can get a free cookie. This is a new account. But you know what? We're, 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 we're gamers. We're not we're not here for the free cookies. We're, we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna grind our first cookie because most of you probably got your first cookie and threw it away and didn't know what it was. And it, it's already gone. You're kidding. Did I I thought, I thought the um, lazy miner, but I guess he had other ideas. Um, we can open the community house before we even have the required playtime to access it. So I'm going to show you how to do that if you forgot. I want to make sure I grab telekinesis on all these tools. Promising pickaxe. I'm not going to be using that. I'm gonna be getting this um, lazy minus pickaxe that has melting touch already for me. And I'm not gonna do any mining just yet. I'm just gonna. I just came here to grab my um, 
telekinesis and tools because it's just convenient and also get the pickaxe but whenever i do come back to the mines to go for my dwarven mines so there we go lazy pickaxe i'm gonna give this promising pickaxe to the guy in the lapis mines for the free come back to get that thing out of the way always nice free items oh man it feels so fresh this is this is even fresher than bingo because on bingo you just get splashes and the gameplay doesn't change much there we go got our four main tools um i probably don't even have oh i do have in the chest okay wow that is not a lot of space but hey we'll make it work now we can go ahead and go to hub and start farming not only am i a uh, new profile completely in out of my own streaming element because i'm not streaming this series and i'm also like not shutting the hell up which is very unlike of me so okay stella thank you mm -hmm. let me grab those hay bales because uh i'm a big yoinker yoink look how fast this is oh my god farming for already did I get experience for claiming those hay bales? Because that was ridiculously fast. Impressive. Do I get access to quick crafting? Okay. Making sure I have all the access to all the benefits that I have on my normal profile. Oh, completely forgot the community thing. Did I not forget about that? Farming 6 already. We want farming 10 for the can actually see the jacob contest you can still participate in them but you can't see it if you don't have farming pen on your calendar you liking the farming content let me know leave a comment maybe even a like highly appreciate it oh my goodness look at me go it's getting all this carpentry xp for the quick crafting once we get that unlocked everything then we're going way smoother grandma wolf already level nine I should probably have a D pet, but I don't know if I. This is not an R man. I feel like I don't really want to have a common B in my pet menu for now because B pet is. Let's be real here. Who the hell ever used a B pet in their lives? Besides, like you, maybe in the first fifteen minutes of your R man profile. All right, let me do that community stuff. Do we frame the cookie that we get? Let me see if I get a cookie. I, I should be getting a cookie. If you go here, community house, it says that, hey, I have some you know, powerful items, but only experienced adventurers can access them. But but if I do this and just go like this, oh, look at me. Yes, I do get a free cookie. So there's my free cookie. I'm not going to be eating it because I'm a giga chat gamer. You don't need cookies. And uh, I will though. Get access to my community upgrade, start the minion upgrade, and of course you can have one profile and account upgrade going at the same time. So I'm pretty sure I will be going for the accessory bag, which I haven't unlocked yet. Okay, fine. Magic fine. Give me that magic fine. So this cookie, I'll put it here. We're gonna we're gonna frame this on our island. Name it the Giga Chat. Hello? Oh, it's just the cookie things. Okay, fine. Because, you know, the fun is to make money for your first cookie on a new profile. Right? There's no fun if you just get the cookie. Let's, let's put them on the ch in the chest for now. You can put them in the chest, right? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, API settings. All of these are going to be off. Island settings. No one can visit me. We see a guy with, you know, APIs in private. They can't visit. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's fearless. Who knows? If you do figure me out, don't leak the name. Be nice. Cause it's mostly just like, I don't care too much. I just don't want to get any special treat. The whole point of the anonymous thing is that I don't want to get special treatment. Like when I enter dungeons, if they see me with a, let's say, you know, if I get the YouTube rank. 
enter by the net, red name, people are gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna carry this red name, or, you know. Oh, it's Fearless, he's making that those series, I'm gonna help him out. I wanna get the full experience, you know, as painful as it they get, and if you leak my name, it's gonna get easier for me. You want me to have an, a better time? No, you don't. That's, where's the fun of that, right? Just making sure I'm crafting all the stuff, because as little XP as we're getting for a carpentry by doing this, XP is XP, can't say, can't say it's, you know, not useful and not worth my time. Farming 9? Okay, so we're on the last level, we might even get to this lobby. Pretty fast, it's been only 20 minutes. And we already have gotten almost farming 10. Now I want to make these series I think 20 minutes long. And if I if we keep like all the footage that you know I recorded in, on this episode, it, I feel like I showed like nothing. So Oh my goodness. I could milk so much content give me feedback do you like what kind of stuff do you want do you enjoy just watching me talk to you about you know how i see the game and my passion for it or do you want a more edited type of deal where you mostly see like the good part where i make progress and all that stuff because i will definitely cut out you know time on me just like building farms and grinding you know skills because I do have plans to max out this profile. Like, when I say max out... Oh, we got a bronze and wheat and I didn't even know about it? No, no, that's how you know we're gaming. Whew. Mamma mia. That is only... A, that is a certified gamer moment right there. Let me know. Do you want us... Do you enjoy... Kind of like the podcasty vibe of, uh, you know, having me talking? Do you want a more uh, less talking, more progress type of deal? There we go, farming tent. Let's see what is our next contest. Also, we got a carpentry one. We need carpentry tree for that quick craft unlock. So, making progress towards that. So let's see. Talk to Mr. Jacob. Like I said, you can participate in contests even if you don't have farming tent, but you just can't see them. Now we get to actually see them, and look at this. We got a turbo wheat. Oof. Already, that is 40k and 90k in tickets. We already made like 130k literally by doing nothing. That's amazing. Uh, let's see next contest. So, upcoming. Carrot, mushroom, pumpkin. Mushroom. We could probably try to get mushroom. Bronze. And for that, I would like to get an axe. And I would like to unlock Bazaar, and I would like to get access to the Grand Experience Potions. I will also like to sell off this Turbo Wheat. As much as I would like to keep it, I'm just simply not going to be farming enough wheat right now. So I'm going to be making an auction. And we're going to be making it a... Oh my god, I haven't used Auction House in the longest time. We're going to make it... We're going to be the scumbag that puts items for one point cheaper. Make it one hour. Who cares, right? So, auction this up for 39k, pretty much 40k coins. Um, we're gonna sell off the tickets once we do unlock access to the bazaar. We can also sell all the wheat that we just got. Um, before though, I would I will make the farming suit is gonna give me some extra speed in the farming islands. Exactly where I'm going right now. Also, we have the ability to make the talisman grab my 10 speed and somebody already bought my auction house let's work on getting mining now mining seven gotta come we're gonna getting mining seven forging seven get ourselves access to grand experience bottles and make that golden axe to get ready for a bronze medal and the farming contests now I think I just want to unlock my iron and coal and gold minions and a cleaver probably in the gold 2 or 3 collection I think. And then also unlock the haste potions in the cold 3 collection. 
These are my, my iron minion. I'm going to focus more on getting coal and gold. There's almost no gold here, which is a little bit upsetting considering we are in the place called the gold mine. Where's the gold? Grandma Wolf level 18. Man, when I don't have to read my stream chat, I have so much more attention that I can give to kind of just talking to the camera. Mining 5. I do have access to the deep caverns, which I probably want to go to to continue mining, but so far we're kind of chilling here, just focusing on the ores to unlock the collections make sure i don't have to come back here because i missed something i think we're gonna do the first episode of me just unlocking the bazaar because honestly as much as i want to you know not kind of stole the footage i feel like a lot of the footage that you know i have today is something that i kind of want to keep in because I was talking about some uh, important things and also I really hate when pets uh, get in my way so hide that I'm gonna go to the war to the deep caverns to get that gold collection because there's a lot more gold there we could also get the sneaky creeper bestiary one if um, we're lucky enough I wonder how much damage I'm doing with uh, my rogue sword probably could hit up the 50s with a crit that would mean I would be able to two shot, but I only have 31% crit chance. It's Sneaky Creeper. There we go. Nine more, and we should be able to unlock a Sneaky Creeper Bestiary level one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I need to my kill. There's a face over here that we might as well grab because why not actually no i won't grab it just so it doesn't mess me up and i do actually go for all the fairy souls which is going to be a nightmare the amount of times i've gotten all the fairy souls in this game is um quite concerning because i think i've gotten it like five times all the fairy souls in the game and also i just hit the cleaver collection that i wanted so at this point we can just mine all the ores to get mining seven and get the hell out of here for now i'm gonna hit mining 12 by mining sand we could unlock the lapis minion actually might as well while we're here this sneaky creeper which i do want to kill there we go beautiful let's unlock the so unlocking some of the lab stuff. I do have the inventory space for it. Maybe I could get lucky and get a, like a lapis armor piece. I don't have a undead sword and the smoke sword's not doing a lot of damage, so. Taming five, look at that. Already just making gains. Farming ten, finding almost seven. Taming five. I do wanna really focus on fishing. Not because of the new update it's mostly because of um fishing has a lot of weapons that are cool which well two mostly and that is the soul whip and the phantom rod both are extremely good weapons by the way we have gotten our mining seven now we can move on to getting uh, Forging 7, and I will uh, officially grant access to the bazaar. Grab the promising axe. Forging. I don't think anyone wants to see for me forging, so. There we go, Forging 7. Oof. I think a little bit. Couple minutes. Let's make some sell offers for the Jacob tickets and i think all the rest of these can i'm just gonna instant sell all of this honestly as much as i would like the resources right now i just want to clear up some space i would like to go ahead and prepare for that for this mushroom contest 
which is going to be happening in 18 minutes. So let's go ahead and buy two diamonds, four obsidian, and let's buy a stack of wood. And let's buy some books. Let's make our enchanting area. Now, I'm not really sure what kind of team am I going to be going for on my island. I want to choose like a block that I haven't really built with. Not quartz and not stone bricks. Let me buy a bunch of books, which stack should be enough, right? And let me go to the builder and see what kind of blocks can I use. I do want to make my island, you know, it's not ridiculously ugly. And we have blocks like prismarine, we have red bricks. Not too impressed with the blocks. I could play with polished diorite. That is an interesting one. You know what? Let me let me buy some polished diorite. Let me also buy some wool. If I can play with these colors. What if I had like a thing over here for my enchanting table? Like a little area. Like that. You know what? This doesn't look half bad. I'll be completely honest to you. This does not look half bad. You know what? I'm digging the team. I'm kind of digging it. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I am not against this whatsoever. So... Like uh, this type of interesting looking thing. Connect these maybe. Oh yeah. Now this looks kind of. This is kind of nice looking. Honestly. Who would have guessed. Diorite wool combo. Looking decent. So. Let's make our enchanting table. There we go. Let's also. Make our bookshelves. 21. I'm not actually sure how many you need for the full enchanting effect. But, oh, that's, uh, well, let rest in peace. Alrighty, so, now that we have our enchanting table, I would like, I would really like to get some backpacks, if I'll be honest with you. Yeah, for sure. Let's get some backpacks. So, my order. Also, <clears throat> I think this is actually a pretty good place to end my episode one. Honestly, I got carried away completely. I should have ended this episode a little bit earlier. But, I apologize for the longer video. Um, I think it's going to be about a half an hour video. I really apologize. Um, I'll try to, you know stall a little bit less show you a little bit more progress it's just kind of how the way it is you know the first episode gotta do a lot of explaining a lot of initial hype and then get to the grind on the newer episode so chat <laughs> hopefully enjoy you enjoyed if you did leave a like maybe a subscription if you made it to the very end please comment frog and i'll see you guys in the next episode